already have found more questions. <laughs> she has a million and one questions. Starting the MERP program, if you don't know what MERP is, MERP is kind of like, it's almost like, it's not necessarily a probation acceptance or however you would call it. Um, it is something where you have to pass it in order to start Ross. Um, some people took it before they came to Ross and they really enjoyed it. It was especially people that um, maybe had never been in the medical field, maybe it had been 15 years since they were at school, but they decided that they really want to do this. And so a lot of times it seems like MERP was really beneficial, just for a little overview. But they said, I'm starting MERP program in Miramar in August. Cool. Blah, blah, blah. I know I'm early, but I want to be fully prepared for the island. Very good. What should I pack versus what shouldn't I pack? Is there a dress code? So what should you pack? I honestly, <laughs> this might be weird to say, but I think mostly just anything that will make you feel good because I think that's what you really need. Like maybe a lot of face masks, like not face masks. I know we're in COVID and that has a different meaning, but face masks as in things to make you feel good. Like just your daily routine, whatever will make you feel normal because everything is really there on the island. You don't really have to necessarily worry about it. Although I would, absolutely, and this will take so much of your room, so maybe just ignore me, like the room of your packing if you're trying to go to the island, but a bed pad is so worth it. Like the memory foam two inch thing, whatever. I could not sleep for those two days that I didn't have one. So definitely bring one if you can. If not, buy it as soon as possible unless you're one of the people that just don't need it, but that helped me so much with my sleep. So yeah, just bring a ton of photos of your family, like just anything that will make you feel normal. I know that's not very helpful, but they're gonna send you so much stuff on what to bring. So don't worry about your supplies in terms of that. My, my advice though is like bring all of your self care and bring a lot of it because it's not that it's super expensive over there. It's just like whatever will make you feel normal and you know that you're gonna have a hard time finding there because there are things in Barbados that are hard to find and may not even exist. So, I mean, I know that I'm vegan, so there was a lot of food that I could not bring. And at one point, um, I live in Florida, so it was like a three hour flight, but in my carry on, I would, I sometimes I would bring like frozen meals because I would just line my carry on with like, like if I was doing like a quick weekend trip because the flight wasn't that expensive. I mean, it was expensive, but I mean like $300. So I would do that once or twice a semester. But when I would do that, I would tend to, yeah, I would put like the little ice packs and then I would bring a ton of the frozen food just so I don't have to worry about it. And then, because I knew I wasn't going to have vegan frozen lazy food, and I would bring like mac and cheese. So yeah, that's that's my advice is just bring all the stuff that makes you feel good. Um, there is a dress code, yes. Um, not for Merp. Um, for Ross, yes. As far as I know, not for Merp. I was not Merped. Merped, oh, it's funny to say it's a verb. Anyways, do I need a lap, an iPad or a laptop? I believe that, I'm not sure if they're still doing it. It was a pilot program whenever I started um, where they gave us uh, an iPad with a, with a pencil. So they will tell you if they are doing that. If not, then bring it. But yeah, absolutely, you definitely need a laptop. And you definitely, I have one of each. I have an iPad and a laptop. And they're very much worth the investment. So, what about books? Um, first aid, Pathoma. Um, other than that, I wouldn't really advise any books per se because they do supply you with books. And school supplies. School supplies. Bring all of your usual anything. Again, it's anything that you've been using for the last whatever amount of years for undergrad. It really isn't going to be that much different. Um, in terms of, and they do send a list of all of the doctorly supplies that you're going to need, so. And then, I know incoming students are required to stay in their housing, but do we sign up or are we automatically placed in whichever one is available? So, you will be, it's, you're just putting your preference. That if you ever did that in undergrad, it's really the same thing where you put your preference, but sometimes you don't get what you want. I know I ended up in Gooseberry, which was the furthest away from the bus stop so everyone complained about how far it was a walk but I didn't go to school that often unless I had to so I didn't really care I mean it was like a half a mile walk so it was really it was actually very pleasant 
Um, we didn't have any centipedes, there wasn't a lot of bugs, it was very quiet, so I was a fan of where I was placed. I didn't pick it, I wanted to be closer, but she said, like, I want a private bathroom. Eh. Yes. I'm pescatarian, so i rather cook my own food. Is grocery shopping expensive? It can be. Um, like, I feel like, yeah, like I said, if you buy the local food, it's really not that bad. If you buy the local fish, you buy the local... I always bought the local uh, vegan chicken nuggets, the veggie chicken nuggets, the veggie burgers. I was having a good time. It wasn't, it really wasn't that expensive. Um, and then there was Rodney the avocado man, loved him with all my heart. Um, he would come by and he would have, yeah, I mean, I would just ask because I mean, I, I can't give out these numbers, one, because privacy, but also um, they change, but you tend to have like a fruit guy or a vegetable guy that you can always contact. So yeah, I would definitely find, like, as soon as you get to the islands, be like, where's the fruit man? Where's the vegetable man? And a lot of times they'll, they'll deliver them and they're delicious. They're fresh. It's awesome. It's really, like, it's probably cheaper than here in the U.S. So if you, if you eat a lot of the local food, it's really not that expensive. If you feel the need to get a bunch of Pringles or get ice cream or if you eat meat, like you said, you're pescatarian you're fine um but if you eat like red meat it tends to be harder to find and it tends to be expensive when you do find it does ross prepare you for step um they give you a lot of resources in terms of they pay for you world i think i just got a subscription for amboss it was kind of a little too late that they paid for it um what else they pay for kaplan yep that was, it was Becker at one point, but now it's Kaplan. And technically a lot of people can just go off of that. I couldn't. I ended up paying a good amount for other resources. Um, I bought Pathoma, Boards and Beyond, Sketchy, um, Sketchy for Micro, Path, and Farm, which I was beautiful. And then Picture Eyes was wonderful. Let's see. What else? I know I bought a lot. Oh, I bought, at one point I bought RX um, Express. I had my first aid book, so I had I had just about everything. Um, in another video, comment below if you want that video as well. Just kind of going through the different resources. I definitely want to do that um, because definitely some were more helpful than others. But in terms of the lectures, honestly, I don't feel like it compared a whole lot. Like the 16 months that I had lectures didn't really compare a whole lot to the actual step one exam. Ugh. And then another question that I get is what is the difference or like do you advise accelerated versus standard? So I did the accelerated so that's 16 months rather than 20 months which is still faster than 24 months um, but I did 16 months and that was I liked it honestly because I'm not very good at studying when I don't have to. I'm not very good at studying when I do have to so that's why I really wanted to do it. I know a lot of people who had a lot of success um, with standard, they were able to take that break. They were able to really hammer down the things they didn't know. Like I know that it, it sounds terrible to study after an exam if you have a week off, but a lot of people would use that time to really sit down and understand why they got certain questions wrong or because you do need to know it for step. You need to understand why you're not understanding. So. I, from what I've seen, there really, in terms of step scores, there isn't a correlation or you don't really, there's not a huge difference between um, standard or we call it X versus C, X is accelerated, C is standard. Um, and I think out of like the 300, I think, I think it's kind of like one third of your class ends up doing accelerated, whether or not they stay the whole time. But you will definitely be jealous at certain times because sometimes your C friends are, you know, running around having a good time. I know for the last semester, like, or my last semester, so 4X, well, they were in 4C. Um, they had three weeks off in the beginning of the semester, or maybe it was 5C. But anyways, they sometimes they start three weeks later. Sometimes it's just, you're just looking at them like, ah, must be nice. But you're still going, you don't have a break. You take an exam, you have maybe that day off, 
and then you get right back into it the next day you have lecture so take with that take that with a grain of salt i guess however you say anyways i hope that was helpful that's really what i can think of right now this video is already pretty long i was a tutor at ross so i feel like i have somewhat of a educated opinion i guess but overall i just want to say that i do really love ross it's not cutthroat it's not the same thing as what you may experience elsewhere i do have a great time with a great community that you know we're, we're always there for each other like with whenever i was taking step one everyone was supporting me i did not have one person or you know maybe they're just in this in the background silent but everyone was very like supportive and everyone really wanted me to do well and that, that's great, like no one is rooting for your downfall, everyone is there for you, if you need a pick me up, someone will be there, another Rossi will be there to help you out, we do go through a lot of craziness, but at the end of the day, we're going to have an MD after our name, if you get through it, you're going to have an MD, that's what Ross promises you, Ross promise, they don't promise you a residency, but they do promise, and they'll try their hardest, because you know, they want everyone to have a residency, if you think about it, um, in terms of even being a business. And they're a private, you know, they're for profit. Everyone hates to say that or they love to say it because it's a push in your face. But I definitely don't mind them being for profit because that means that if we don't succeed, they're not going to keep getting business. So, And people will say that it's a money machine, which of course it is. It's for profit. But also, they're not going out of their way to fail you. They don't get a lot from that. Um, they want people to succeed and I have seen people fail but a lot of times I feel like it's because they weren't necessarily ready um, because it tends to be their first semester. They fail their first semester, try to retake it and then can't pass but after that if you put in the hard work it seems like it's good enough. They took away the the rule where because people will also say oh well they don't let people take step. The people that um, didn't take step, or the pe that, that's why they're not included in the percentages. That's why Ross's percentages are really great, is because they can't even take the step until they pass another exam, which was true. You had to pass comp, which is a NBME exam, in order to take step one, but they don't do that anymore. So, I mean, I guess we'll see what that does to the percentages, but that's that can't be an excuse anymore you can take step whenever you want. So that was a lot of the questions that I tend to get. Um, if there's any other questions that you have, please go ahead and comment below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I did just take my step, so I probably will be revealing my score soon. We'll see how that goes. I do want to reveal it because I do feel like it's important to do that, but we shall see. But yeah, hopefully that answered a good amount of questions. Oh my God.